All right, can you hear me now? Can you hear me now? Can you hear me now? All right. All right, here we go. We're up and running, I believe. Are we good? Are we good? Are we good? Um, thank you, Facebook user, for just saying that. And at least you didn't hear my uh, sneeze. So that was that was good. Um, but I hope everybody is having a great day. Sorry for the lateness. Sorry for the tardiness. Good morning, Sunshine. Good morning, Veronica. Good morning, Cindy. Good morning, Luminous. Muzak, good morning, my sweet friend. Good morning, Margaret. What is the correct spelling for the filler? For the... Are you talking about uh, Velvet Veil, the blurrrrrrrrr? Is that what you're talking about, sweetie? All right. Of course, the sound didn't work because I was running late. And yeah, you know. Good morning, Facebook user. That's what it says. I don't know who it is. <laughs> it's been good morning. Um, good morning, Debbie. Man, everybody jumped on. They were like, hello, where are you? Um. So, yeah, I got some allergies, whatever, got my eyes, I woke up, my eyes were red, sneezing, all that funness, uh, sinus headache, ah. so all oh, the goodness, all oh, the goodness going, uh, good morning, Sharonda, how are you, oh, it's Martin, okay, hey, Martin, um, good morning, <laughs> holy moly, everybody is jumping on, um, so this will be a good example of how you may not feel the best, um, but it's hard to tell people you're not feeling well when you airbrush <laughs> because y'all look good. Um, so Margaret, that's the velvet veil. So it, it's going, it's not necessarily a filler, but it's, I call it a blur. -er 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 -er. It's going to blur those fine lines, wrinkles and crinkles and help, um, so, you know, get rid or not technically get rid, but blur, um, pores, uh, lines, uh, wrinkles and crinkles, things like that. So it's velvet veil and I'll type it in and I'm sure, um, it's right there and I'm sure, um, ah, Luminous did it for me too. You're so sweet. Luminous. She's so on top of things. Um, but velvet veil is amazing. It is a blur. -er 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 -er. So it is going to blur those fine line wrinkles and crinkles little bit goes a long way where you can just kind of and i there's a dropper in there i don't use the dropper i just i take the dropper out do it like this with my hands and then do it that way holy moly my eyes are so red and i do have a little bit of um concealer on because if you saw me right now you'd be like whoa whoa but then i'm thinking maybe i should show you because It'll show you how it corrects it. Um, so, oh, Lord have mercy. But we are going to talk about um, contouring because I told you guys, oh, my eyes are so red right now. I told you guys that um, we were going to go over contouring because what does foundation do? Foundation evens out the skin tone, okay? Foundation covers the imperfections. Um Linda's, Linda said it's, it's all, it's about, uh, Botox in a bottle. Pretty much the closest thing you can get to that. Um, I don't know if y'all can tell, but, Ooh, I got some redness working. All right. So dry that out. Cause I'm just tapping, but we are going to work on contouring. So I'm going to put on my foundation everywhere, even out my skin tone. Um, and it also helps with oily skins. Yes. I hope everybody is safe. I'm not sure where. Um, uh oh, Sharonda's like, I'm almost at my bottom, at the bottom of the bottle. Um, yeah, it does help with uh, oily skin. But um, uh, wherever you guys are, I hope that um, you're safe um, because of the tornadoes that happened this weekend. Um, I hope everybody is safe and well. Um, all right, so I just wiped off. There is some redness. I'll go ahead and use the Botox in the bottle. <laughs> I was like, I'll go ahead and use the Botox. Um, like I said, it comes with the dropper, but I, I'll do this and put, that's literally how much 
and tap it in, tap it in. Yeah, three three states were hit. Oh, like, and that that's the other thing. Like, I was listening to the radio this coming in, and just the devastation, and oh, it just makes you so thankful for what we have, so thankful for your family. Because right before Christmas, I can't even talk about it. I mean, it's so sad. All right, going right between my forehead. Because I have um, what I call the 11. And then I got something on me. And so I do that. You can put it everywhere. You don't have to. You can put it just in those problem areas. Um, but when I first started using this, I also noticed, hey, Zondra, good to see you. Zondra. Okay, this is new. Zandra, are you seeing me on face on YouTube? Because this is weird. Because now I have <laughs> this is new every day. Um, I have all my YouTube people here, so now I don't know what's going on. Anyway, let's continue, shall we? Um. So you, I can tell in the monitor, but this is already softened. I do, you know, with my allergies, I'm having this puffiness underneath here. And so that even helped underneath my eyes as well. Hallelujah. That it helped there. Um, and so again, you don't have to use it everywhere. You can use it in spots. Um, it's just wherever you need it. You are on YouTube. That is so weird. Because my YouTube's not up and your messages are coming here. Who knows? I probably pressed the wrong button. Um, all right. So now I'm going to come in and use above. Uh, yeah, you can put it around your eyes. Is that you're on YouTube too? I can, yeah, I see you on YouTube, but now they're all in one area. This is so weird. Um, all right, so I'm going to use the rose for the rose four in one, which is medium to full coverage. Guys, I'm sorry, I'm like all over the place today. Um, I love that everybody's now on YouTube. Uh, Karen, that was velvet veil. Look how my pinky has stick out. Velvet veil. And Velvet Veil is amazing. Um, you want to airbrush. It is for airbrush. It doesn't go through your airbrush. You do put it on with your hands, but your skin's going to feel like um, like velvet. Like velvet. I mean, it's going to feel like boda. Um, you're just going to put it right there. Um, a little, some little things, because y'all are asking about this. Um you don't want to use too much and don't keep reapplying it. If I put this on again over what I just put on, it will be too thick and it, it will like look um, white, look ashy. It's not going to look so a little bit goes a long way. That's why I do I, when I take the dropper out, I use what products around the dropper and then I do this and then I just do this with my hands and put the rest of it on. So Velvet Veil, you can put everywhere um but like i concentrate here um i have redness and po bigger pores here um so that's where i stick my velvet veil to my mom she wants it in five gallon drums she puts it everywhere so you can you can do whatever you want if you are oily then you can put it in like your T-zone or wherever you do get oily. It will help you stay um, matte for the day. I mean, it, it is an amazing step. This is the bomb.com. Hold on. I'm going to look it up real quick and see, since everybody's asking for it too. Um, let's see. Uh, it's it's forty dollars right now. Oh, and it's out. We're we don't have it right now. 
um, but we will get it in. So just wait till it comes comes in. Wait till we get more of it, um, and then you'll want to to purchase it for sure. Um, it is amazing. But wait for it to go on sale. Um, you know we have awesome sales, and so um, they change every Wednesday. And so wait till it goes on sale. All right. All right. So now let's go in. And I'll use, I'm going to use some pre-coverage. Sorry, I'm stretching. I'm going to use some pre-coverage. Um, you will want to, um, <laughs> exactly, Moosey. You will want to um, airbrush over that. So don't put Velvet Veil on and then use a traditional concealer. So I'm going to use our CC concealer and then the, the foundation. Um and use the points. Yes, people sign up for our stuff. All right, so now, whew. so right now I'm using our CC concealer in light beige. I only put about three drops in there, and I'm going to go and do it on my eyes, underneath my eyes, kind of focusing in this area because that's where I need most coverage. So anything you put on, and listen to this very carefully, guys. Anything you put on with airbrush that has color is giving you coverage. Even blush can give you coverage because it has pigment to it, okay? So, and the reason for that is because with traditional makeup, you put something on and then you put something over it and you're kind of wiping stuff away. We're not touching our face as much, you know, with airbrush. And so now I'm going to turn on my system. I'm holding, this is the... Um, the breeze. I'm going to do my lids. I start my movement first, go under my eyes. And as soon as I feel it or hear it, I'm moving. Oh, Zandra, I love that. Zandra went to a wine tasting for this weekend for her youngest twin granddaughter's 21st birthday. And her granddaughters told her that her makeup looked amazing. I love it. Girl, you know, you know, it's true when a 21 year old is going to tell you that because they don't lie. And that's, you know, that they look for stuff like that. All right. So I'm just kind of hitting those areas that I know I have problems. And now look, there's no wet sound. So then I know I'm out. Now, am I gonna want a little more coverage? Yes, but guess what? That's enough pre-coverage for me. Now I can go in with my silk, or I'm sorry, with the rose four in one, which gives me that medium to full coverage. And I'll do about five drops. Oh, is that you're awesome. Um, I don't know what button I push, but this one is the best because I can see YouTube and Facebook all together. All right, so I'm going to go around. Did everybody do a little bit of uh, Christmas shopping this weekend? I am done. Presents are wrapped. I can enjoy it. Go down my neck. Because we also remember, guys, when you are airbrushing, you want to keep it that four finger whisk away. Keep that stylus moving. Keep your breeze moving. And then barely pull back on that trigger. We don't want it to go on like traditional makeup. If it's wet, if it's sticky. Um, if you run through those five drops super fast, then you're pulling back too hard on that trigger. So don't do that. Those are things that you're going to want, we want to watch for. Okay. Now that I have foundation on my airbrush foundation, my airbrush concealer, I can use regular traditional makeup. If I wanted to contour with, with my cut one palette or cut two palette, if I wanted to do regular blush regular eyeshadow I can do that now what you'll want to stay away from with the CC or with the velvet veil 
is anything that is like a cream. Okay. All right. Oh, I love Cindy's like, I bought myself some luminous for my for Christmas. I love it. Hey, you, you get what you want when you buy it yourself, right? All right. And you can already tell, like I'm looking alive. <laughs> I'm, I'm looking like um a human again. Um, so let's do I was only gonna do half my face when I'm contouring and um so let's, I, I want to do that. Let's just do half the face today. And um, that way you really will get to see the difference. Um, well, I think I can. I'll think I can. I'll think I can. All right. So I'm going to use the Cut One and the Optics palette because this is going to give me highlight and contouring. And then I'll do a little bit of shimmer with this to show you the difference here. I'm also going to use this for eyes because i still want to show you how contouring works i know a lot of people are afraid of contouring which you don't need to be afraid because it doesn't you know maybe you're afraid because you've seen those um those videos and you know they're it's so extreme and you're like ah i can't do that and it doesn't have to be like that if you're a shade three you can contour with a shade four or five or go super light if you're using the cut one palette so you can go super light you don't have to do it as boom like extreme in your face okay all right so i'm going to take this is kind of a fluffy er angle brush see how it angles and we have this it's in our five piece brush kit and so i'm going to take my cut one and in our cut one you see all those and these and then this one is a little bit of a shimmery one and then all the cut one cut two both have a shimmery one in there so when i contour and i'm doing with the, using the cut one palette i use all of them i don't like to stick to one shade i like the multiple shades and i just do that and then when i go in i'm going to go in and everything we think of it as moving it up moving it up moving it up um and so Oh, yes. So now <clears throat> I'm going to go in right here. Now, if you're like, well, Heather, how? Um, bye, baby. I'll, I'll see you. Um, you're like, well, how do you know to go there? couple ways. You can do this. Make a fish face and go in right there. Or go to the top of your ear. Start at the top of the ear and come at an angle. And you see my bracelets are making noises. So you can stop right there or you can go a little bit like that's super light, which is fine. If it, you're new to uh, contouring, you can stop right there. Okay. Or come in a little bit more. I also go in and I contour right at my hairline temple area. I would do it here, here, and now I'm going to do my jawline and that's gonna look really funny <laughs> all right I don't know about y'all but I can already start seeing the difference okay and notice like it didn't have to be extreme like I've kind of blended that in like I didn't just now, if you want it extreme, oh, you most certainly can't. You can do this and have that whoop, harsh line, or you can blend it a little bit more. All right. So what this is doing, again, is just giving shape back to our face. Foundation evens you out, and then we can kind of start building some shape. I'm going to pause for a moment. I mean, yeah. All right. So now I'm going to take, let's take this brush. I'm going to take another brush and I can do some hot, uh, uh, highlighting. <laughs> no, <laughs> Cindy's, like, Cindy's like, you don't need to look like boy George with contouring. No, you do not. 
But I tell you what, if you want to learn some good contouring, look at Boy George. He's amazing. All right. So now I'm going to take another little brush and I'm just going to kind of bounce it in between the two colors, the two highlight colors that don't have the shimmer. Okay. So now I'm going to do sweep it underneath my eyes. Because that's going to highlight underneath the eyes. Now going back, you do not have to do all of this with the cut one palette. I can highlight with glow underneath here um, and then just contour. You don't necessarily need to do the highlight and contour, but because my eyes are a little red and I need some kind of like pick me up today where I'm feeling a little better. Yes, I want to highlight underneath my eyes to make me feel better. A little bit. That's all I need. Okay. See, can you see the difference already? Give me a, give me some hearts, hearts and thumbs up if you can already see the difference. All right. Now you can also, if you're like, I don't know if this, maybe this just kind of washes down. I can go in with my same highlighter. and go between my chin highlighter and this highlighter. And if I need to, I can go back and do a little bit more, okay? Now, you, wow, I'm dropping things. I'm taking now a blending brush and going in with the lighter contour, I'm going to contour my nose. So if you need to, if you have a thicker nose and want it to make, make it look thinner, you can contour your nose. If you have a thin nose and you need it to look larger, you can do more highlight here. Okay. If you have a longer nose, you can contour your nose, contouring it on either side, but then cut across so it shortens the nose. All right. So I'm going to go in with a lighter, the lighter contour and go work down my nose. Yeah, the, I love that. The bronzer, the Belize bronzer. Actually, I'm glad you brought that up because I want to show you. Uh, actually, I have the other one. This one is Bali, but I want to show you these bronzers. What I like about these, notice that there's the flat side and then there's the, or the matte side, and then there's the shimmer side. These are also great. Another thing you could do, if you had a similar brush like this, you could do it on both sides and do your shimmer on the top and the matte on the bottom. So you kind of get a highlight, um, um highlight contour at the same time with some that with that shimmer okay it's another thing you can do all right so i just took this little dude and contoured right down my nose little very soft super light but see how you can already see this dimension here. So if I did put it on this, like that side even looks larger and I don't have a big nose, but that does look bigger than this. Does that make sense guys so far? Can y'all see the difference? Um, for the area under blush, to jawline, what works best for highlighting without shimmer? So Jeannie, blush down, you wouldn't want a shimmer. You would want your, your shimmer to stay here. Like cheek, cheekbone, top of the apple. That's where you'd want your shimmer. If you're highlighting here, you want that matte. If that makes sense. All right, so right there, bam, 
a little bit of contouring. Now, eyes, when we're doing our eyes, you might think, oh, I love putting on eyeshadow. It's so good and it's so fun. And But guess what? You're actually contouring your eyes. Remember how we say, hey, you want that, you want that eye to pop. That's what we're doing. When I add a little bit of darkness in here, that's what we're doing is contouring because we're making those eyes pop. So if I go in and even this is that line, I'm putting this in my crease because that's a crease is where we want the contour, where we want the depth. And that's following that line right there. Does that make sense? So if you need to know where, 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 how do I do it? It's the crease. And I'm still using our cut one palette. And that's just following that right down. So if you need to gauge where to, um, where to put it, there you go. So I can go back here and do a little bit more contouring in that crease. Okay. On the flip side for the highlight, I can do my highlight. I'm trying to get a brush. Let me dust off this brush. The brush, the highlighting i can go in with a flat white which is going to make things stand out i'm highlighting there that's my lid you have lid contouring and then your brow bone i can use the shimmer at this point to make that stand out even more if I need to go back and add a little more contour in here. Thank you, Bambi. It's all our it's all our cut one and cut two palettes. It's our highlight and strobe palette. Not highlight and strobe. It's our contour cut one and cut two. All right. So this face is contoured. You can take it up a notch or you can dial it back just depending on what you are wanting. Okay. Now, I can now go in with my highlight and strobe and create a little bit more eye-catching highlight. You can highlight with matte colors just to give you that natural step up. But I can go in with my optics palette and then I'll do this one. And I'm kind of one that uses all of the colors. So I have some on here and I'm going to do it in this high cheekbone area. I can also go down my nose. Okay. And my cupid's bow. I like it usually like a softer brush when I'm doing that just because see how like the light catches it. See how much that is. But I can also go back with some powder and just dye that down a little bit. Okay. So notice that I did go in. I have this contour. Then I have this highlight, which is good. But see how. I'm going to turn this way. It gives it some depth. So all we are doing, guys, is building that face shape. Now, see this side? <clears throat> Skin looks good. <laughs> but there's, eh, is there anything really there? See, there's more interest. You see that brow bone pop. You see the lightness in here, but there's, there's something there to create that depth, to create that crease. Then you have some interest here. So if I went in and added blush at this point, which I have been taking my blush a little bit higher. Let's 
see how pretty that is? And looking straight on, you can definitely tell the difference. Can y'all tell the difference or am I just being silly? Shake it with it. All right, so now I'm going to go in with my liner and I'm going to do my whole lips because that will look even more crazy. Oh, Bambi loves a highlighter. I love it. Actually, you know what? I will do half. And I'm just, I'm lining my lips. I am on the outside. Actually, this is going to show what lip liner and lips make a difference. Because I also like it highlighted right up my cupid's bow too. But I'm going to get a... Ah. And I'm using Dusty Rose, which is very neutral. It can be used by itself or with our lip jelly or with a cream confessions lip. It can be used with lips, like a lipstick, lip vinyl, lip stain, or by itself. And then I'm coloring my lips in. I mean, yeah. Look at that. Look at that lip. <laughs> and that is my lip. Guys, a little bit of color. I feel like I have a hair there. Um, a little bit of color make such a difference this is the dusty rose this is a lip staple guys this is what you have to have this one our cut one cut two palette you has got to have that one our optics palette highlight and strobe a must this nude and naughty those are a must if you haven't gotten those yet get them you need them i know i do look lopsided don't i <laughs> but I don't draw like crazy, um, you know, like bigger than my lips, but the pigment of my lip is lighter. And so that I mean, that makes a huge difference. Huge. This side, hold on. Um, can I use? Maybe I'll just use this. See? And if I did it this way, I still look like I have bad allergies. You can still see the puffiness or that my eyes just don't look right. That makes a big difference, guys, a big difference. If this doesn't show you what a big difference <laughs> contouring does, and again, it doesn't have to be extreme. But guys, if you're interested in contouring, re-watch this video, but also do it before you go. Maybe you're like, Heather, I don't do it. I don't contour. Okay, that's fine. But do, do it before you go to bed, before you take your makeup off. Try it. Always try something new before taking your makeup off. Because that way, if you don't like it or you mess up, it doesn't matter. You're taking your makeup off. It don't, it don't matter. Try it before taking your makeup off to see, okay, well, maybe, yeah, maybe I could do that. I could do that. That would be good. Try it. I know, I mean, guys, right here, live and in color, you're seeing what a difference it makes. And this isn't anything severe. It isn't anything massive. It isn't anything hard you can do it you can do it it's going to make you feel so much better you're going to have more confidence you're going to look amazing and you're going to love it you're going to love it so there you go all right well i'm now going to go finish the other side of my face <laughs> so i hope um i love the dusty rose and yes i got the colors i love it debbie i love it all right i did i did i'm gonna have to put on my mascara because again 
without a doubt, mascara makes a world of difference. That's one thing I cannot go to the house without is mascara. For sure. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Sorry about the tardiness, uh, but we will be here tomorrow. I hope everybody has a great day and we'll see you soon. Bye for now.